Hey guys, Ari here at Bootcamp here with a couple updates for you. Uh, first, there's a new question types appearing on the cube counting section of the 2020 DAT. Uh, they're called unsupported or floating cubes. I think things like this usually tend to freak people out or like get them like scared because they're not really sure what it is. But if you spend 10 minutes reviewing what they are, you realize it's not that big of a deal. So, resource for you. Um, it's uh, up right here. Um, I'll link to it below this video. And our team member Kiana went through, uh, created these awesome short sweet videos to get right to the point and show you exactly what you need to know and what the key takeaway from this whole thing is. Basically, with unsupported cubes, you just want to make sure that you count the underside. Um, she's going to walk you through it, and we'll walk through a practice problem together. Second update, I'm really excited about this one. We added a key takeaway section to all the biology practice questions. The key takeaway is a one or two sentence summary of what you absolutely need to know to get this question right if you get it on your DAT. Uh, this was a huge project. It took a while. Our team member Josh went through every single biology question and uh, extracted what's the high level information that you absolutely need to know to be able to answer this question. So let's just go through one together. Uh, in this question, you're reviewing it in mammals, which of the following structures aids the embryo and storage of liquid waste. So it's a question about mammals, embryonic structures. This is a great DAT question. Things like this, where they're kind of like giving you like five big structures and they all have different ideas. Um, here we have the explanation. All this is fair game for the DAT, letting you critical information that you need to remember. Through the further details, if there's anything that you're not entirely sure about, we go into more detail of it. Um, and at the very end here, you have the key takeaway now, at the end of the explanation. And this is the one or two sentence high yield, like big summary that you need to know. So if you see this question, this is what you absolutely need to know to be able to answer this question. Uh, let us know if you like it. I'm pretty excited about it. And I think it's going to help frame these large biology explanations down to the core and exactly what you need to remember. Last, I want to thank everyone in this group uh, for being awesome and creating a positive study experience. Um, I love reading your breakdowns uh, after you take the DAT. Please continue to share your experience uh, with everyone. It's awesome seeing everyone build each other up and help each other out. Um, I really wish I had this community when I was studying for the DAT. Um, that's for now. Keep studying, and we're always looking to improve the study experience. And I'll catch you next week. See ya.